Good morning, CDT day 119. Um, it is 7.30 a.m. on Thursday, August 26th. And uh, I've been on the move for, I think, about a half hour now. Uh, so I should be about a mile or two down the trail. I uh, woke up this morning, everything is frozen. So um, every night is going to be below freezing for the foreseeable future. So that's not cool, but whatever. Um, I am hiking in my Crocs because my socks and shoes are completely frozen since they got wet yesterday. Didn't have enough time to dry out. So um, I am headed to the Lone Star Geyser. Walking across a bunch of hot pools right off of the trail. It's pretty cool. Uh, little warm water streams. Um, I want to keep moving so I keep my heart rate up because it's freaking cold. Burr. Um, but they do look tempting. Although some of them, like this one over here, are boiling. So you don't want to put your foot in boiling water. Although it sounds a lot better than the freezing I'm doing right now. <laughs> There she blows. Folks, this is the Lone Star Geyser. Um, apparently, it's not supposed to erupt until about 9 a.m. or a little after. I just got here about quarter after 8, so I'm looking at about an hour of wait time. Uh, I'm going to sit in the sun somewhere and warm up. But there are a lot of boils and uh, little pools all around here that are pretty active, so which is cool. Uh, what is also cool is I am the only one here. Probably because you know, I'm the only one stupid enough to come here over an hour early. But um, this whole area is really nice. There's a big stream back here. That Well, the gang all made it here. No minor eruption yet. So a little after nine, hanging out with a couple Sobos. And the whole crew is here. Just waiting for Lone Star Geyser to wake up from its slumber. Oh! She's calming down now, just hitting steam phase. This is a very long geyser, it goes for about 20 minutes. Um, so, I'm gonna head out to get the lunch buffet instead of the breakfast buffet because it sounds so much cooler. But Paps and I stayed for the whole thing. He's right there, totally worth it. Jesus and Girly Girl stayed long enough to see it right in the beginning. And I uh, ducked out pretty much as soon as it started. Woj, unfortunately, ducked out about 10, 15 minutes before it started um, because it was about an hour to an hour and a half late. So um, not as faithful as Old Faithful, I guess, huh? Uh, so it kind of took away a big chunk of the morning. I was here for about two and a half hours, and it goes off every three, so it's kind of frustrating that... Every time I try to see geysers, I always time them like the worst possible way. But at least I got to see it. I'm glad I was patient. It was really cool. And uh, now we get to go see Old Faithful, take showers or baths, um, get and go to a second floor bar, have some drinks, and then with a balcony to overlook Old Faithful. And uh, all you can eat lunch buffet with like pulled pork, bison meat, mac and cheese bunch of other stuff so getting pretty pumped for that four more miles to town and uh wind river kid will also be meeting us there so we get to hang out with him get some supplies 
and uh, should make for an even better rest of the day. Uh, it's still chilly, but it's uh, warm in the sun, so um, that's working out pretty well. Uh, so yeah, getting getting excited for the next town. I right, just finished a 200 foot climb, the last climb until Old Faithful Village, and I'm just catching the littlest glimpse of the village out there. Some of the geysers are steaming, and there's a couple of buildings down there, so that's where I'm headed. And it's all downhill. I like it. I've been noticing a pretty funny uh, pattern. Uh, I don't know if you want to call it human behavior or what, but um, either way, I met some more Sobos and told them my trail name, Jandals. And, uh, Every one of them repeat it right after I say it. And they always get it right. I say, hi, my name's Jandals. I say, Jandals? I say, yeah. And then a couple minutes go by, and every single one of these people says, Jangles? Like they're, so they, they get it right, but they think that they're wrong. Because Jandals is a word that almost every American has never heard of. And, but, you know, if I'm from New Zealand, they would totally get it, or Aussies, they would get it too. And, uh, because they've heard the word before. But since that word is new in the minds of people, um, they just assume that they're wrong and try to get the next closest word that sounds familiar to them. So they hear jandals, and then they're like, oh crap, it can't be jandals. That's not even a word. Maybe it's jangles. So you said your name was jangles? And nope, jandals. So, uh, I just thought it was interesting. It was probably about 10 people in a row now that I've just noticed it. I just made it into Old Faithful Village. There's Old Faithful straight ahead. Pretty cool. I'm looking to go to the Old Faithful Inn here and get some grub. I was so excited about getting my uh, lunch buffet that I forgot to show you guys what it was, but uh, tons of really good stuff. They had wild game chili they had um bison bratwurst pulled pork with rolls and butter and uh cornbread and mac and cheese and um what else did i have there's like soups and um salad with all kinds of fixings and pasta salad and oh my gosh all kinds of stuff and of course a beer to go with it but now we are searching around the lodge because apparently one of these bathrooms has uh, tubs in it and nobody seems to really care if you take a bath so we're going to uh, try to find it it's kind of like the uh, it's kind of like the lottery find so we're looking for the golden goose this inn is three floors currently on the second uh, lunch buffet was down in there they have a gigantic clock right here and then the third floor right there, and then even higher up, all the way up there, is the crow's nest. Currently locked, so I couldn't go in, but either way, still pretty cool. People everywhere. Um, and we found the tubs. And then I remembered, after all that searching, that I don't like taking baths. Because, especially when I'm through hiking, I have so much dirt on me, I'm just sitting in a floating pile of dirt. So, ooh on the housekeeping cart towel so I think I'll take a shower well I acquired my towel I found the shower that is full of soap and I put myself in the back stall with door and window blocking me into this nice little corner so I got the place to myself and I'm gonna have myself a nice stand-up shower perfect all right, all fresh and clean. Even got my uh, socks laundered in there. I actually put them on like mittens and then just scrub them together. So um, I don't really have a way of doing laundry here unless I want to pay for it. And um, the only thing that really is a necessity to clean are my socks. So now that these are all sudsed up, don't even smell any lingering bacteria. So I know I'm better than a washing machine. And uh, I'm gonna hang these out to dry and. Now it's time to relax.
We're up here on the second floor of the lodge. I uh, got some nice outdoor seating to check out Old Faithful without even having to stand up. Civilization is cool. Oh, well, there it goes. Speak of the devil. Quick update. Uh, got my socks dried out and back on. Feeling great. Woj bought me some ice cream. Delicious. Watched um, Old Faithful Geyser go off a second time. And now we are heading over to the general store and possibly the grill to get some food to pack out. We are changing our plans for the day. Uh, we are now going the same way that Woj is planning to go. So um, we got six miles to camp now. 23 mile road walk to West Yellowstone tomorrow and then we'll be in Montana the next day uh, We are not going to be going into Idaho with this direction uh, But it's mostly symbolic anyways because even if we were going into Idaho on trail We were only gonna be there for like 20 miles So we're gonna be skipping it entirely and going straight into Montana from West Yellowstone So um, one more day in Wyoming and uh, it's gonna be great so Now we're gonna head to the general store get a little bit of a resupply all right, before we head on the trail, it's dinner time. Got myself two double bacon cheeseburgers. One of them is actually going on the trail uh, with me to eat tomorrow morning for breakfast. I also got myself a boudou lad, some french fries, ketchup, mayonnaise, and mustard. I always hated mustard as a kid, and I just realized that I haven't tried it in over a decade. So maybe I might like it now. So I'm gonna give it a go and uh, report back. <laughs> All right, just had some uh, good food. Had one of the burgers, packed out the other one. So that means that my resupply for this section is one uh, double cheeseburger with bacon and one carnation instant breakfast packet. Because right now we have six miles of walking and tomorrow we have 23. And then we're in West Yellowstone and we're gonna get a hotel room. Jesus and I are going to Nero. So we're not gonna take a zero. We're just gonna keep going. Um, Paps is going to take the official CDT, so he's going to be about half a day behind because he's losing about 12 miles. And, uh, Girly Girl is going to be taking a day off. Woj is going to be taking, I believe, about three days off. So, might be breaking up a little bit, potentially. But, uh, we should all be meeting up pretty close to the same time in West Yellowstone. So, um, yeah, for now, six miles through some geyser fields. Uh, yeah, you can say hi. Oh, okay. Hey. <laughs> girl, girl, Jesus, say hello. She didn't even say hi. Oh, man. She just waved. What a poser. Um, so she's, anyway. She's oh, this. yeah, by the way, um, I still don't like yellow mustard. So, <laughs> case closed on that. <laughs> Instead of taking the paved trail, we're going just slightly off because this trail here has like six geysers and two pools on it. And uh, if we have an opportunity to see more stuff, I'm gonna, because this is an awesome park. What? And here we see giant geyser. Um, apparently its eruptions are pretty random. And I think the last one that happened was, was it March 10th? Yep. March 10th, 2019. So it's been a while. And it's thousands of years old. Thousands of years old. And there's a couple geysers here. This one's having a little activity. What's going on there, brother? Hey there. He's not shy. <laughs> now that's my kind of geyser. <laughs> Boy, I guess you can say I'm a real fan of that geyser. <laughs> Taking the power line trail because it's better than the road. Check out the steam and the right up against the sunset and then the bouncing silhouette of girly girl's head just popping in and out of the sunset <laughs> and that freaking bird this is so beautiful so we're on a trail which is also a service road and we're about four miles from camp it's a 8:45 p.m so we're looking at like a 10 p.m arrival a little bit of night hiking never hurt anybody 
Look at that light refraction. Wow. It's pitch black for the camera. But uh, guys, basically what we're looking at right now is an adult uh, bison. And it's right off a of trail. So we just had to go around it. But it's super docile, just hanging out. That's so cool to see, especially at night. It's amazing. So it's currently about 10.20 p.m. About 5, 10 minutes ago, we just got to camp. And Woj is here, and he's got a fire going. Paps is not here, because I believe he's going to be taking the official route. Um, so apparently he didn't make it to camp. He probably realized that it's too far off trail for him to go. But we got the fire going. Uh, Jesus and I just collecting a little bit of wood. We're thinking of cowboy camping tonight. Right next to the fire. It'll keep us warm, and we can see the beautiful stars. Which, unfortunately, you know, camera will never be able to capture on this video but the stars are some of the best i've seen in a very long time so i'm pretty excited about that also just found this really cool bone Ooh. Whoa. i don't even know what that bone is but bison. it looks like a bison like hip bone or something i don't even know but I'm hoping all right we're getting our cowboy camp on so we were all hanging yeah, out by I the thing <laughs> yeah we got all three of three of us hanging out by the fire. Woj already has his house set up, so he's sitting out back there. We got the fire going for the night, all crowded around it, real nice and toasty. Every time you take a video, I never know. You, I always think you're talking to us. I never know you're filming. He's not. See, she has no <laughs> idea that I'm a professional. People. So, um, to your stats oh, <laughs> stats for today, looking at about um, sixteen and a half miles, unknown elevation profile because half of it is off the CDT now that we are doing our big sky alternate or uh, butte alternate and uh yeah so beautiful day got to see a bison got to check out a bunch of uh of uh shooting stars and beautiful uh, milky way as well had some awesome food in town good stuff to pack out and we'll be right in another town tomorrow west yellowstone so we're getting excited for that just have to do a little bit of a road walk in between here and there but we'll be in town tomorrow probably get a hotel room and um, do some town chores so that is the end of the day we'll see you guys in the morning Slumber <laughs> party. Is this Jesus? Yeah. <laughs> Are you new at this? <laughs> you can't really see Hi, I'm your Every Slumber party 2019. Slumber party. <laughs> Mom, pick me up. Mom, pick me up. They're drinking alcohol here. <laughs>